Alright, what is going on guys? Easy to get back again with another video. Today, I'm gonna just update y'all on my phone collection. These are all the phones I have left to my name. <laughs> uh, two, four, six, eight, 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 twelve. But, yeah. Okay, so, happy Sunday by the way. I have a charger hooked up, I know, but, happy Sunday. It's about 1.30 my time, so, I just wanted to state that, but yeah. Okay, we're going to do from left to right. Left to right. Okay, so first phone is my iPhone 6. I'll tell you about the upside down. This is my gold 16 gigabyte window. It's my mom's old phone. And I had it in a box because, don't forget, I just moved into a new house, which is where I'm at right now. And I pulled it out of a box to see if it still worked, and my screen was popped out. I, he, and if y'all want proof, you can ask him, I legit called Jack, psych, and he told me to rip my screen and battery out, so, that's what I did. I just got a motherboard, speaker, they didn't even put adhesive on my battery, my battery was just flopping around, and it made my screen pop out, so, yeah, that's why there's connected, that's why the ribbons are broke, because I gotta get that re replaced again, so, yeah, I'm pretty mad about this one, but, yeah. Okay, here's one of the three of my Akito zips I got on my birthday. This is my personal one I used to use. I gave the other one to my dad's girlfriend's kids, and I'm getting my second one back, which is, like, demolished, but it still works. This thing does indeed work. It's probably dead. No, it, it still works. Really fine. Technique Josh from the Hold My Phone Sideways, which I really hate doing, but I know he's going to get on to me if I don't, so <laughs> I'm just doing what you said, bud. But, yeah, this thing still works. Glass is missing up there. I dropped it on hardwood at my apartment before I left. And glass is missing in the corner. But this thing still works completely fine. This is actually a pretty good phone if you want to use it. I would have gave this to my cousin, but... Uh, my cousin has a TCLLX, which I've seen. Uh, Tech that YT's video. Techno Memes video. Uh, I think Josh made a video on it. Techie Josh, I forgot. I forgot who made a video. I know... Techno meme did tech that yt did uh i forgot who else did but yeah this thing still works completely fine it's gonna be a little bit sluggish but oh well i don't care oh it's about dead anyways yeah it's about dead. that's me and my girlfriend but yeah it's being very slow but yeah that's my girlfriend this thing's a good couple nine a couple months old and it's already shattered but I don't care, it still works completely fine. I would use this, but just, no. It's still got all my stuff on it, my music, everything. Yeah, it's just really sluggish. I don't like it, so. It just sits in my jar, but. Yeah. This card invalid SIM card in because I took the SIM card out of it. So I'm going to shut this off because it's about to die. I'm sweating so badly. Thanks, dude. But yeah. Okay, third phone is my iPhone 5s. I got I've had this thing for a good two years now. It's a 16 gigabyte silver on uh, track phone and family mobile. Oddly, it works with family mobile. It has no SIM card in it right now. The SIM card tray is messed up. Screen shatter, and it's on my my good buddy's iCloud account, which I gotta get off. But Touch ID works. The screen isn't broke. It's not popped out at all in any form or shape. And I have a case for this, but my entire screen's just, like, messed up, and there's, like, corrosion in the screen, as you can see. But, it still lights up right there, and in the corner, and stuff like that, but, yeah. It works perfectly fine. Okay, hopefully that recorded. I think it did. Third phone is my Galaxy S3 that I got from Justin, before me and him quit talking. This is a 16 gigabyte white on T-Mobile. I thought the AMOLED was broke, but it works completely fine. And I got a battery for it off of Amazon with the help of my dad, which, thank you dad, by the way. I got that, and battery for my Note 3, and two Type-C cables, which I use. One's in my bed, right over there. And the other one I gave my brother, because he has Type-C phone. But, oh, I muted the volume because I was carrying this with me yesterday. So, that's why the volume's muted. And I love the boot sound for this, and I like the sh shutdown animation for this also. But... I did a challenge that Tech Geek Josh told me to do with one of my phones, and I chose my S3 because it was just in the pattern line, but 
I think y'all straight now, but I'm going to show y'all. Yeah, I did it just like his S3. Same exact one, T-Mobile. It's the S. His is the SGHT 999L. Mine's just a regular T999. But my SIM tray doesn't work. My brightness is all the way down because I was using it. So my battery is at like 6 56%. But, yeah, this thing's pretty smooth, I'd say. I just got GTA on it, blockheads, a couple of stuff on here, but, yeah. I was using it yesterday, which, there's no Samsung guy hooked up to it, because there's no point in that. Oddly, there's not one on my S8, which, if y'all didn't know, I did reset my S8. Here's the shutdown animation. I swear to y'all, I love this T-Mobile so much. Snap. But, yeah, while that's shutting down. It just, it just looks marvelous to me. I can't help it. <laughs> but, wait till it shuts down. Okay. Okay. If y'all been on my, at my channel for a while, y'all never knew I had this, but I got my J3 Luna Pro back. My Samsung Galaxy J3 Luna Pro back from Phoenix, because he finally got a new phone, and he gave me it back. This is my exact J3 Luna Pro I got for my birthday. Whenever I upgraded from my Akito Furious 4, which I gave to Phoenix also along with this. He never gave me back the case for it, but oh well, it was just a cheap little body glove and a tempered glass I put on it whenever I used it. But I took it off and I stuck the SIM card for it in the next phone I'm going to show y'all. But this thing still works fine. No cracks. The screen is in flawless condition. It is on track phone, but it's on family mobile. But... There's just very little scratches along the edges, and there's like old dents on the edges. One, two, three, four. I, this is my backup phone. Like, I use this as a secondary phone. It's taking my camera. Okay. It's a little bit slow. I finally updated this thing after a roof. A year of not having it, and I got a friend to go to school that has the same exact phone. It's just, there's a big chunk, it's just because. You know, this is basically just a secondary phone. Still the same exact phone I had two, a year ago. Nothing really is different on it, except for the fact that it's just got all my other stuff on it. But, yeah. No Samsung account either. I'm going to shut that off because I'm not really using it right now, but. That shutdown animation is so fast. I wish it would boot up that fast also, but yeah. Okay. Sixth phone is my Galaxy J7, my 2015 edition. My case is in my drawer. I just don't like the case on it anymore because I can't press my buttons, but this is the first phone I got from Justin. No, second phone I got from Justin. It was Google Locked, if y'all saw the video. I bypassed that Google Lock and I like lost in 20 minutes. Actually, on my way home from his house, because I went to drop him off and I got this the S3, the Motorola Luge, the LG Optimus Zone 2, and the Moto E4. And all I have left today is this and the S3. But because the Moto E4 was already shattered, so I destroyed that. And I dropped the Motorola Luge on a, a rocky road, which is like my driveway, and it shattered. But, yeah, that's my girlfriend yet again. I just reset this thing, so this is like set up as a brand new if you set it up on Android 7. It's just when I originally had Android 6.0.1 on it. I don't have the screenshot to prove. I do, but it's on my messenger, and I got no Wi-Fi, so. Yeah, I really like this phone a lot. It's a little bit sluggish at times, but I'm not moping and groping. I'd rather deal with it than... I'm gonna shut this off, but yeah. So, no time to waste. I'm going to get started with the next phone. Okay, same phone is the ANS UL40 that my aunt gave me for my birthday. Same time I got my iPhone fixed. I got this, this, and this for my birthday. But it works completely fine. It's on because I was using it for a couple of days while my phone was shut off. And the only app it has on it is Snapchat. And I checked the Google account and everything off because I wasn't really using this. It was just for messaging and calling. And I was about very little, but the data don't work anymore. So, that's a shame, but yeah. This thing just has a little, like, scrapes and stuff like that. 
and the back door won't stay on right there, but nah, I'm not broken and groping. Still works fine, but yeah. Uh, eighth phone is the oldest phone in my collection, the Galaxy Note 3 that I got from my aunt before she passed away. I dented my old battery for it by shoving it in my S3 and I got mad and banged against my end table, so I got a replacement battery for it. It still works completely fine. Screen's still in perfect condition. It's still dented from where she had it before. I still have the S Pen. And I have a stock charger, but it don't work on it. It does, but it just won't stay in, so I don't mess with it. I let Phoenix use this for a couple months, and he lost it. But I got it back, luckily, and I'm so glad I did, because this thing is such a good phone. And I'm glad I got it from my aunt, or I did, before she passed, because this is the only memory I have of her. Along with a Note 8 case, which if I do ever get a Note 8, I'm sticking that case on it. No offense or butts. But, yeah. The battery's about dead. That's me and my girlfriend yet again. It's at 10%. That's her yet again. But, yeah, I customized this how I liked it. So. Oh, yeah, it's still got all my stuff on it. I customized it finally. How I like it. I didn't really use this thing a lot, sadly, because the battery was so horrid on it, I just didn't bother using it, but I got a new battery, so there's no offense about it, so I wouldn't use it, but, yeah. I like how these buttons still work, but, yeah. Okay, ninth phone is supposed to be my daily driver, but I switched back to my S8, because I hate for my mom paying all this money for me to have a nice phone and not use it because of my battery, but... Here's my OG Expression Plus. I just stick the IMEI sticker on it because I tore the other one off. This thing is in brand new, flipping brand new condition. I still have the box and everything for it. It works perfectly fine. I haven't dropped this thing once since I've gotten it. And me and one of my best friends I go to school with have the same exact phone. But I don't use this thing sadly because I don't know. I would, but no, I just don't feel like it. Fingerprint scanner works. Camera works. Flash works. Touchscreen works, everything works. Not blacklisted, and not anything like that. I got it from Best Buy. Works perfectly fine. I stuck my SIM card in just to set it up with apps. Oh, I gotta draw my pad in. Cause I got this secure startup thing on it. Yeah. All right, to be enough, I'll show you all the next phone. Okay, my next phone is my second oldest, well, yeah, my second oldest phone in the collection. It's my LG X Charge. I have it plugged in, it's completely dead, which is at 6% right now, but. I got this thing in Florida while I was visiting my grandparents, and I still have it today. This was my daily driver for a good couple months, Whenever before I got my S8, whenever I had an OG K7 at the time, and it was shut off. That's me and my girlfriend holding hands, by the way. I really like that photo, but I don't really have that much on this phone. It's got no SIM card in it, because I took my SIM card out. I just set up how I like it. Fingerprint scanner does and the needle work. As you can see. Oh, I gotta wait a couple minutes for my lock screen. Okay, uh, this is on boost. You know, it just says it has no SIM card. I forgot my pattern to this. So, whatever in the world I try, I can't get in. And I'm gonna be mad if I cannot get in this phone. Because I've got some deep stuff on this phone. But, yeah, I'll try to pattern and such. Okay, last one I'm going to showcase is my OG Grace OTE. It's flipped upside down because a good couple months ago, Jerry, if y'all know him, Jerry, <clears throat> he got mad at me for some apparent odd reason and took a screwdriver to it. So my screen's legit demolished. I'll have to get another OG Grace that's Google locked or a bad ESN or whatever it is with a good screen and swap the motherboards. I just legit talked to Jack. Not even... 15 minutes before making this video, and he told me it is simple to swap motherboards on this phone. This phone will cut my hand. So, I can probably just take the screws off. I got no SIM card, SD card, but I might just swap the motherboards, set, keep the other one Google locked. But, yeah. This thing still works fine. It's got my Google account on it that's hooked up to this phone right here. But it just sits in the corner because it's broke with the SIM. Ew. 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 Ah, that's scary. So I find SIM tray I had up there, but, ugh. but yeah. I'm about to try to get into this thing. This thing has all my Google accounts. 
Yeah, it's one time I draw the pattern wrong one time, it'll stop for 30 seconds. So that's somewhat pretty cool. Ah, here's my lock screen. Okay, it's just default. I thought I said as something cool, but no, it's just default. My pattern's still the same, but yeah. It is indeed an AT&T phone. Uh, I have nothing in my messages, because I just... I had this phone activated, and I reset it again, because I went back to my S8, and... I've got nothing on here legit besides... Three calls. Which is just to my best friend and to voicemail. Just because I can. I don't know what... Oh, the security lock. I don't care, but... I would just miss... If my essay gives me more problems and I can get my Grace LTE to work again where I can use it properly, Jerry, then I'll go back to this, but no. This one does not have a fingerprint scanner. This is a fingerprint scanner. This has a fingerprint scanner. This has a fingerprint scanner. This is a fingerprint scanner. This is a fingerprint scanner. I'm recording with my S8, the Orchid Grey one. I have two, but I can't find my other one anywhere. I think it's at my friend's house too. No, my dog barking in the background. <sighs> my dog's gonna get a beating one of these days. I love my dog and all, but I figured it out. Yes, thank you, stars. I'm so happy I figured my pattern out finally. Cause I've been so mad I couldn't get into this phone. Jack, no, Josh, got into my phone. Yes, finally. This is indeed a Boost Mobile phone, but yeah. It's just got all my old stuff on it, all my Google accounts, I think. I forgot how many Google accounts I have on this phone. Wow, I was so mad I couldn't get in this phone, and now I'm finally glad to got back into it. I'll show you how old this phone really is. I have over 400 screenshots on this phone. And it marks all the way down to October of the last year. The day after I met my girlfriend in person. That's how old this phone really is. This is an OG phone right here. I really love this phone a lot. But. Yeah. I've got so much stuff on here. I can't bear to lose half of this stuff. Because this is just stuff to me. <laughs> This is how many zombies would rob zombies rob if rob zombies could rob zombies. Yeah, we went to homecoming just because it was very interesting. Here's all the colors for the iPhone 10 R. But I'm so glad I got in this phone, man. I was so mad I couldn't get into this. Day from homecoming. These are pictures of my OG Tribute HD, which I gave to Justin last my song, so. Maybe if I get me another Tribute, I could, like, probably, um, get, I could probably set that layout back, but I'm going to shut this off, because I don't really use this thing, but I'm so glad I got back into it. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. That's the last of my phones. I really like this phone a lot. I seriously do. It's just, I can't have my mom pay a whole bunch of money for me to not use a good working phone. And if I had no purpose for this S8, I would already gave it back to her. But I do. So, I have my camera somewhere, but I just don't have any good batteries for it. But, oh well. That's not the main point. That's my big phone collection for right now. I'll flip all these around. Just because. I have the most phone, the most branded phone I have in my collection so far right now is Samsung and LG. Counting with about four. Oh, I'm just talking right now. Y'all look at my cable comes up. I have 
two Apple devices, three Akatos, well, one right now, five Samsungs, three LGs, and an a and a back to a Moto E4. But yeah, I'm going to look around on eBay and get some good suggestions on what I should get next time I get any money. I want to get a, another Samsung because I really like Samsung and LG, but if I seriously get another LG Grace, I can find the easiest way how in the world to get swap motherboards, I'm legit doing that. And then I'm going to switch to my Phoenix Plus. So... I'm going to go over all my phones one more time. I'm not starting them up or anything. I'm going to just go over all of them really quickly. So, yeah. Okay. iPhone 6, gold, 16 gigabytes. Unlocked to any, almost any carrier. It won't work on Boost. Never mind. Boost don't have SIM cards or internet. That's why it's in no service. But it works on Sprint, Simple Mobile, AT&T, Verizon. Yeah. Crap like that. Oh, yeah. And track phone. This is locked to track phone, Akito Zip, 16GB, black, iPhone 5S, silver, 16GB, crack screen, uh, straight talk, track phone, and family mobile, Galaxy S3, 16GB, white, T-Mobile, J3 Luna Pro, 16GB, family mobile, Galaxy J7, 2015, T-Mobile, 16GB, white, ANS UL40, assurance wireless, 8GB, silver, Samsung Galaxy Note 3, black, 32GB, Sprint, LG Phoenix Plus, 16GB, ATT, black, LG X-Charge, silver, titanium, whatever color you want to call it, 16GB, Boost, LG Grace OTE, black, simple mobile, 8GB, and what I'm recording with, oh, did y'all not hear that, my legs just popped, I felt so good. Okay, I'm sure it looks, I'm not showing myself. I'm recording with my S8 Galaxy S8. Working good. Ooh, that's my arm. <laughs> uh, I got a pop socket, same thing. 64 gigabytes. I might give it to my mom soon, because she has the S9 Plus, and yeah, so. I'll update y'all on these another time. Whenever I get this fixed, this fixed, and this fixed. <laughs> but yeah. I'm going to pull this up while we're talking, but I seriously thank all y'all for watching this video. Yeah, I appreciate it. But, I'm going to keep that in the corner, but yeah. So. Okay. Uh. Oh, put your phones up in here. Put these on my bed. I use all these. I'm still going in the drawer for now. I'm going to keep these two together. So I'd be happy if I legit got my grace fixed. Boom. That's how you know I got phones, boys. Alright, <laughs> here we go. I solved that in the easiest way. Alright. Thank you all for watching it again. I shall see you all in the next upcoming video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe for more content. That just scared the living mess out of me. My Snapchat will be linked down below in the doobly doo. I'm going to have it signed into my note 3. So. I'll make a, have to make a brand new Snapchat, so I'll link it in the next video, or I'll just make a screen recording of it, but yeah. Peace.